Okay, um, I'm going to do a quick demonstration on how we're going to be solving long division problems this year. Uh, we're going to be using a new method of long division instead of the traditional algorithm that we've always used in years past. This method is called partial product. Sometimes you'll hear it referred to as expanded notation. And it has a lot of differences from the traditional algorithm. So let's go ahead and do our first problem here. Uh, you're going to make a bracket. The bracket looks a little bit different than it used to. It has a longer side over here. And we're going to divide 99 by 5. Here's something I do just at first so they get the idea that they're going to multiply their way through this instead of dividing. Uh, now, one difference that this particular method has compared to the traditional algorithm is that in years past, we would have said, oh, how many times does 5 go into 9? But this really isn't a 9. It's really 90. And so we were giving them misinformation. It, it, it really was all about memorizing steps, and it really didn't apply to, to math concepts that we're learning in class. This one's a little bit different. This one, they're going to apply what they know to figure out what they don't know. So we need to get ourselves going into this whole number. And depending on your multiplication skills, you can chisel away at this, or you can go right into the whole thing. So I'm going to go with kind of like an average, like a middle-of-the-road way of solving this problem. I'm going to say, well, 5 times 10, I know what 5 times 10 is. 5 times 10 is 50. So I'm going to subtract 50 from 99, and I get 49. And I'm going to say, um, I don't know. I know 5 times 3 is 15. So I'm going to subtract 15. Now, I could have gone 5 times 9. I could have gone right, at, you know, a lot closer to the number. But I'm just going to chip away at this just to show you how to do it. That's going to be 34. And I'm going to say, all right, well, I know 5 times 6 is 30. Okay, so now I subtract that. I go 4. This would be 0. And that leaves me with a number that is smaller than my divisor. Therefore, it's going to be my remainder. So let me just bring this down a little bit. I'm going to add up all of my factors over here. I've got 10 plus 3 is 13, plus 6 is 19, and this is my remainder, remainder 4. And I'll be telling the kids to kind of just box this so that whoever's reading their work sees where the answer is going to be. Okay, so let's go ahead and try to do another one here. Let's do a bigger one. Let's go with uh, 459 divided by 0, 03. Okay, and I'll go ahead and draw this just to kind of point that I'm multiplying over here. And I'm going to say, well, I know I can multiply by 100. 3 times 100 is 300. So I'll subtract 459 minus 300. All right, so now I could say, well, I know that 3 times, um, let's see, I could do 3 times 10 is 30. Regroup this. Oh, I didn't need to do that. Oops. <laughs> 129. 129. And I could say, oh, I know um, 3 times, uh, let's say 3 times 30. Well, 3 times 30 is 90. So I'll go ahead and subtract that. And I would get 39. And then I could say, oh, well, I know 3 times 10 again is 30. That gives me 9. And then I could say, well, I know 3 times 3 is 9. So I'll subtract extend this down. That would be 0. And then I'm just going to add up all of my factors over here. And it's kind of nice, too, if we line them up, it makes it a little bit easier, which I'll show you uh, something I'm going to talk about in class here on our next problem. So we've got 3. Uh, that's 4. That's 5. 153. There is no remainder, so we'll just box that up. There's our quotient. Okay, let's do one more. And I'm going to show you something that, that I'm going to tell the kids in class so that they can keep their, their numbers lined up and hopefully not make any careless mistakes. So I'm going to have them turn their paper sideways, and we're going to use these as columns to stay organized. So let's just do one more problem here. Make my bracket. And we'll do oh, uh, 123 divided by 4. Drop this over here. All right, and so I'm going to say that these are... Uh, columns for the hundreds, the tens, and the ones. And that way, if I line up my numbers, I shouldn't make a careless mistake when I go and add up my, my products. So I'm going to say, well, I know 4 times, uh, let's do, I know 4 times 25. Notice I left this blank over here. I could put a 0 or just put, just leave it alone. That would be my hundreds place. So 4 times 25 is 100. And when I subtract, 
I get 23. Okay, four times, I could say four times five. Let's put my five here. Four times five is 20, so that's what I'll subtract. And I would get three. Three is smaller than my divisor, so I'm going to leave this as my remainder, and I add these up. Notice how these are organized in columns, so 5 plus 5 is 0, carry the 1, 2 plus 1 is 3, and I get 30, make this my remainder, remainder 3, box that up, and there's my answer. So this is how we're going to be doing long division in class. I hope it helps, um, hope it helps you understand what we're going to be doing, and then you can help your, your children at home.